were disappointed. We didn't get as many phases together as we wanted. I think we struggled to get sort of two, three phases, especially in the first half. And you know, that, that, that's a frustrating thing that we we never really got going. And, um, and and at this level, you've got to put phases together. You know, you're very really good to break down a team in sort of the first phase. So it is disappointing, but we've got obviously got a lot to work on for next week. Short turnaround, so when you get it right quickly. The, f the first half was what really put us in the position. You know, um, just really didn't. We just went out the races the first half, you know, they just the speed of ball they were getting, we just weren't managed to slow the ball down, we weren't getting any dominant hits, so they were just always on the front foot and we were just sort of playing catch up rugby from then on and you know, the sort of second half of the second half was, was a lot better, you know, managed to keep some ball, uh, run put some faces together and, and really have a go at them and obviously scored a good try through Max, but you know, it's obviously pretty, pretty disappointing. Full credit with Scotland, uh, same old story, never give up and the last ten minutes is you know, really difficult. And, uh, you know, play some good rugby at times, Scotland fair play them, but uh, it was a very difficult place to come and play, especially come and play and win, and uh, it was a great effort for the lads today. It seemed to turn perhaps around about the time when uh, Jeff Cross uh, was injured and of course yellow carded for that high tackle and maybe it sort of started from there. Yeah, well, maybe we felt we were in control of the game anyway. Uh, we were getting into good positions, keeping keeping the ball relatively well uh, on possession, um, and, and creating some some width out there. And uh, you know, there were a few mismatches. We you know we narrowed down the defence of Scotland uh, and got the tries we deserved. We felt, but um, yeah, there's a few, a few incidents out there. You know, a few boys injured, but uh, hopefully all the boys are okay now and right for next week. I think I think to be honest, you know, we just. Uh, we didn't really turn up for the first half hour, you know, and by then, by then it was too late. I mean, we came back, but to be honest, we just didn't we didn't turn up the first the first half hour, you know, and by that time, it was over. Yeah, but the last ten minutes, of course, you were turning it on, but far too late then. Yeah, exactly. Just uh, yeah, pretty uh, down dressing, I should imagine, at the moment. Yeah, the boys are obviously yeah. disappointed, pretty pissed off for the way the way it unfolded, you know. We just got to have a good look look at our shell, ask some questions. But what you've got to do in six days, you've got to face France over there, so you've got to get yourself in the right oh, state yeah. of mind. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing with, with rugby, you know, it's like, we've got next week, six days, um, we've got to turn it around, we've got no choice, you know. Yeah, we started off you know, really well and that, that was a pleasing aspect. Um, and like you say, obviously myself, myself getting Sim being down to 40 men, they, you know, it was always difficult for them and they gained momentum. So, um, say we're pleased, we, say it was always a huge, tough place to come and win. I've come up here many a time and gone home and lost. So, you know, any win was, was what we needed to do. We got a short tournament against England. Um, so we really need to focus on that. We weren't good enough. They, the, first, the first half, they, they overpowered us. They won, they won quick ball. We didn't slow their ball down. They had all the front foot. When it came to defence, they won the collisions, and that's the lesson we need to take on board very quickly. How did you feel you let yourself uh, in your relatively unaccustomed position of lock for Scotland? Um, I need to look at the video. Um, I suppose in terms of won my line out, carried some ball, made some tackles, but our, our scrum as a whole didn't do well enough. I need to probably look at my role within that. Well, we're very happy. You know, it's um, you know we got a victory in a tough place. Uh, um, you know, we, we look at the video. There's lots of areas we need to work hard and improve. And you know, it's about, it's about evolving, doing this competition. It's a very difficult competition, and uh, we're delighted with the start we've had. But this uh, high-pressure game, slinging the ball, keeping it moving all the time, really had Scotland running in circles at times. Well, I was quite happy with the way um, you know we recycled the ball. We played with a lot of width and tempo, and uh, that was important. You know, efficiency in the contact area is key, and if you can get that, then you can implement your game plan. And I, always did give us a good platform uh, today to play off. And now it's England? Yes, yeah, massive game isn't it, you know, again, uh, Cardiff, um, it's going to be a fantastic occasion from our perspective, we've got to work hard this week, uh, look at our weaknesses and just make sure we improve. Obviously disappointed for the, um, for the result with the boys, um, you know, there's some positives to take from, from the last quarter. Um, which will be good, you know, have something positive to take into next week, um, but obviously a lot to work on. Um, so, uh, yeah, obviously I'm feeling quite good about the way I performed, but there's the overriding factor of obviously it's a loss um, with the team, so, yeah, a bit, bit down. Obviously it was disappointing, we just didn't uh, win the contact early enough, but then get a foothold in the game and uh, made it pretty tough for ourselves to come back from that. Indeed, we spoke the other day, I think, about getting this, this, this you know, hit the ground running, this really good start, but I'm sure you all wanted to do that, but somehow it just didn't look it out. Yeah, it just didn't really uh, happen. So. Bit problem with the with the set piece early on didn't really help much, but we set ourselves high standards and we didn't come up to that at all. 
playing you were going well in the last 10, 5, 10, even 15 minutes. Uh, did you feel that was because the, the Welsh had already changed their side so considerably, or was it because you were coming on to your game at last? I think it was, uh, a lot of it was, we were attacking the ball a lot more and so sort of winning the contact a little bit more, so obviously that's going to help us and I think that, that did sort of show itself in the game.